is your first Alert 5 weather with Alan Rose. All right, folks, now time to switch gears. Take a look at the weather forecast. It was nice and bright this morning. Temperatures rose up so quickly, almost like that SpaceX rocket we saw yesterday at Cape Canaveral. It got hot early in the day. Once the clouds moved in, now we're seeing the rain that's cooling down pretty quickly. Watching two main bands of precipitation, one across the Pikes Peak region and also another separate batch for parts of Werfano and Los Animas counties, although that stuff over the past hour has certainly began to taper off. So as you look out across eastern parts, of El Paso County. These are areas east of the springs, mostly east of Black Forest as the rain is letting up there. We're seeing some rain here out towards Ellicott and Yoder and also watching some stronger storms, possibly a little bit of light hail just east of Callahan towards Alta Vista. You can see the darker yellows, the reds, those are the colors we're concerned about. That is typically the heavier rainfall uh, on the radar. Also, areas of hail typically seen when you get to that purple color. Down at the Pueblo, this is a storm that brought some hail to Penrose just about an hour and a half ago. It was a very strong storm, but it did weaken as it moved away from the mountain areas of Fremont County. Now just some lightly scattered showers here out across parts of Pueblo. So the sky is still looking a little bit dark and threatening in the springs, but most of the rain, as I mentioned, is off to the east. You can see your thunderstorms may be on eastern parts of the town, but overall looking pretty good. Nice and cooler at this hour versus what we saw at about the two o'clock hour temperatures in the upper 60s. Right now Pueblo still hovering in the middle 80s outside. It's windy as well, especially if you're in the vicinity of any of those showers and storms. A wide range of temperatures. We have some spots in the 90s, mid 90s out towards Eads, 89 La Junta, cooler air in the mountain town, 66 in Rye, Alamosa at 80, Denver 78 looking at 61 currently in Monument, where we have seen quite a bit of rainfall this afternoon. Look at the water vapor, plenty of moisture to work with, all coming out of California, and this is going to keep the daily shower and storm chances going into our Monday, into our Tuesday, possibly into the middle of the upcoming week. So on Monday, again, a lot like what we saw today, sunshine turns to clouds by the afternoon. Those clouds start to produce some thunderstorms heading towards maybe 2, 3 o'clock and points beyond. Highs are going to be very warm tomorrow, looking at a mix of 80s and 90s once again. So as look at the rest of your Sunday, still looking at some scattered shower activity. I don't think there's as much instability and oomph in the atmosphere to work with, so not really looking at any severe storms today. Heading into Monday, storm threat does pick up in the afternoon. Once again, it could be a lot like Saturday, I think, where we see these slower moving storms on Sunday or Monday. Even some indication in the upper levels that we get stuff that moves east to west. It's counterintuitive what we see here typically in the Centennial State. So we'll keep an eye on that flood threat heading into tomorrow. Tonight we'll see overnight lows again quite warm for this time of the year, just dropping down to the 50s and 60s. How about that heat? It is back again for the first day of June, 80s and 90s in most of Southern Colorado, and we'll keep it really warm. Even with the slight cool down through the middle of the week, we still stay in the mid 80s possibly a dry day on Thursday. Then a system that comes out of California does bring a better potential for strong to severe weather heading into late next week. Pueblo area mid 90s on Monday, low 90s Tuesday, Wednesday, back up to the mid 90s on Thursday and Friday. For Canyon City hovering near 90 Monday, Tuesday, a little bit of a cool down on Wednesday, but back up with some heat heading into Thursday and Friday. Woodland Park, lots of 70s for daytime highs. Overnight lows down to the 40s and 50s. Mountain towns probably won't see a break from the rain, though, till the end of next weekend. Andy?